Hey guys, thanks for joining me for this project. My name is Chris, thank you again. This is A Glimpse Inside. In today's episode, we are gonna be doing some much needed shop storage improvements. These shelves, I haven't shown you everything I've made yet, just a little glimpse, right? This was a project I've been meaning to do for a long time. Got some cleats up on the north facing wall finally. And yeah, this, this thing is handy, but this isn't the project. I wanna show you how these modular shelves can help you get organized and also the positioning of them can help you kind of store various sized items so easily. All right, let's get into this. Let's clean up a little bit. You'll see what I mean just in a minute and uh, we'll get going. Thanks, let's go. You know, good help is hard to come by and I am in great company here. This little girl is always trying to just help me out and do little things around here. And uh, I even asked her to go throw it away and <laughs> of course, she was happy to do so. Woohoo! Nice job. Thank you. You know, if you're a fan of the channel, you know I'm familiar with French cleats, and maybe you are too, but I've never hung them this way. I'm trying something different here to make this process really easy. I'm making two little supports that are equal in length. I'm gonna go ahead and cleat them up on the wall. You can see there's a small cleat at the bottom, but I have to, well, yeah, I have to actually remove some of the material at the top. You'll see why just in a second. So when each cleat is put in place, they're exactly the same length. As long as your one cleat at the bottom is level, you can do this process and quickly go up the wall and everything is level and flush. The reason they're tapered there at the end, yeah, you can see lather, rinse, repeat. The reason they're tapered is so I can remove them. If you don't do that, they're gonna get stuck. <laughs> also, another little quick tip is to make a story stick of where you wanna put your screws. That, you know, if you want the aesthetics to be lined up, I didn't do that in the first part of the shop. I wish I had. As I'm doing this process, I am learning that, you know, making things just a little bit more aesthetically pleasing is kind of nice. And this story stick allows me to do that. And if you're smart, you'll actually do this on the workbench instead of put it up on the wall and then mark your marks. But as you can see here, I've changed my method and this works really well. Now, I'm not gonna bore you by installing all of these on camera. I did them off camera. I'm showing you the result here. If you wanna know more about French cleats and which style might work right for you, I've done a video about that. I'm gonna link it down below. It's actually a pretty decent and informative video, at least I've heard in the comment section. So if you wanna learn more about this system, check it out. Whew, not gonna lie, it feels good to get this done. But this time, I'm just gonna make some really simple shelving and I don't typically draw my projects out, but I've done it here. And I'm gonna just, I'm gonna stick to this and see how it goes. I think it should be plenty strong. So let's turn this thing into something that's in real life. So these shelves are gonna be 30 inches wide by eight inches deep and the backs are gonna be six inches tall. And I'm using one sheet of three quarter inch Baltic birch plywood to make all of these shelves. Oh, I wanna mention this little thing too. This little handy clamp from Rockler allows you a spacer block on your table saw fence. It's adjustable, it's great. I'm finally, I'm really glad I got one of these finally. And I'm gonna link down below some Rockler products as well that I'm using in this video. So check them out and show them some love. Now it's time to cut all these pieces to length. I'm sorry to force my humor on you here, but I just had to. All right, now it's time to cut these six inch individual blocks that are six by six here on the crosscut sled. These are gonna be the left and right sides of all of the eight shelves. So I'm trying something different with these shelves. I'm not gonna put an entire 45 degree angle cleat along the entire back of the shelves. I'm only gonna use these three inch sections. And as you can see, I'm just cutting them in half here, giving me the bottom support as well. I don't necessarily need a cleat that tall for this application. So here's what we got. We've got eight pieces, tops and backs, and then we've got our sides and all of our cleats. Okay, what you see behind me are all the pieces needed to make these eight shelves. I've got the backs, the tops, the sides, and all the cleat pieces as well. And I did spend about 45 minutes to an hour just now, and I sanded each one and broke all the edges on all this plywood. And I've preached this before about you try to make details matter, right? It's kind of a pun there, make details and then details matter. You get it, right? So the idea is, is that, and a commenter actually said this, and I don't remember who it was, so forgive me, but I said something about, you know, maybe everyone else won't notice the details that you do, even if you're making things out of plywood for your own shop, but you will, you know, yourself, you'll, you'll notice these details. And this guy said, honestly, if you pay attention to these details throughout the whole process of doing this in your shop, 
people will notice. They come in here and they'll just notice a, a polish on things that really wouldn't be there if you didn't take the time to round over and sand different edges. So I think that's, uh, I think that's a lot of truth in that statement. So whoever that was, again, I'm sorry if I don't remember who you are, but thank you for that. That was, that was a profound statement. So the conglomerate action of doing all this really does matter. It gives it a certain feel. All right, enough rambling. Let's just assemble these things. Of course, I'm gonna show you my first attempt at putting one of these shelves together. I'm using Starbond's CA glue to really help me out in terms of putting these cleats together very quickly. I always say I use it as a tool in the shop. And then after that's finished, a little bead of wood glue and the top goes on. And then I'm using something new, these Flush Head Power Pro screws. I'm gonna put a link to these couple products down below. You gotta check them out. If you really wanna go through some fast projects here in the shop, Starbond and those Power Pro screws really help you out. Really make quick work of anything you're trying to accomplish. All right, so everything's coming together pretty nicely. Really simple project here, but I'm liking it so far. So I'm just gonna finalize this by putting a small screw in the back of this cleat. And then let's test it out. As you can see, I've got one up on the wall. And there's the second. Nice flush fit. Of course, you can move these around wherever you want. But so far, so good. So I built this shelf coming up here a little bit differently. Not that you might be able to tell, but the cleats are gonna be installed on the top of the piece instead of the back. And then the back's gonna be installed up against those cleats just like that. Clamp everything in place, use the CA glue and regular glue as before, screw everything down, but I'm not gonna use clamps on the sides. I'm gonna use regular glue and CA glue to kind of hold everything in place. And then I'm gonna flip it around. You know, I don't even know what she wanted, but at this point I couldn't ignore her. I had to come down and give her a hug. And of course I take this piece and I put it back down and then, yeah, I screw everything together just like this without the clamps on the side. I think that works a little bit better. And again, it's not rocket science. You can do whatever you wanna do. But I will say this, those screws leave little bitty holes in the top. And if you want to, you don't have to, but if you wanna fill them up, Starbond makes a black CA glue that looks pretty cool. A couple applications are all you need. Flood the surface, then spray it with activator, sand it flush, and you got a pretty cool looking, I don't know, a little aesthetic there. At least you don't have holes in it, <laughs> but I really don't care either way. Uh, it's just an option you can do. All right, so I actually made some of these beforehand in my wife's shop. That's where I got this design from. And I used pocket holes to assemble these. And these on the wall behind you, in front of me, are what you just saw me make. I didn't use those. I used simple, really uh, flush trim screw heads on the uh, the whole thing. I didn't want to bother with cutting the pocket holes. Why? I don't know. I just thought it'd be easier to do it that way, and quite frankly, it was. Um, also, look behind me. I don't show I don't show a whole lot of mess sometimes, but see those window sills? That was kind of the motivation to build these shelves, right? So that's why we did it because sometimes things. Would you come here? Oh, okay. Are you eating? She's, she's having some leftover birthday cake. Okay. Anyway, yep, your dad is now 40. What do you feel about that? <laughs> anyway, guys, this is kind of one of those motivating factors when you have something you need to get, you know, you have a mess behind you. You have a mess in your shop. You go, I don't want to live with this anymore. So I'm going to do it and I'm going to make something that's going to help me with that. So right now, this is what it looks like. I put them all up. Yeah. Not too bad, right? And I'm gonna see if she can help me. Maybe not, she's a little too short, but we're gonna, we're gonna flood these things with some, some stuff. So I don't have a huge plan to organize these shelves. I'm just emptying out those window sills, but here's a little Easter egg I found with making these things modular. Okay, this is a perfect example of why modular shelves are really awesome. Instead of always keeping it at the top, which would be fine, you can separate the shelves separate the shelves like I did here. And you got clearance for that kind of stuff. That is cool. Okay, so behind me has been cleaned up a little bit from the previous clip, I hope you can tell. And now I've got the shelves behind you and I'm gonna show you that now. So